Hey guys, it's Mike here for the first tutorial of the year. Today I will show you how to use Swiper with Oxygen Builder and build this little slider. Pretty sweet and actually pretty easy to do. So let's start right now. First, let's check their page to follow their instructions. What we have to do is to load the CSS and JavaScript file. So you have already took care of it. I load them here with advanced script. You just have to copy the link if you want to load from the CDN or uh, copy the files. So let's build the slider now inside Oxygen. We will use the exact same layout here. I just won't add the scroll bar because it's uh, not very useful. So let's do the same and copy the same class. First, we need to add a div. So let's do it here in a section and div with the same class. Actually, I will add the name here so it's easier to follow. And uh, here, okay. Another one here, div, swiper wiper, rename it here, okay. Inside this wiper we have the slider, let's add div, slide, slide, what they have, they have just a uh, a simple text where we add an image for the content so we look a bit better okay and we duplicate three times for the moment it's fine then what they have swapper pagination so let's add it here swap pagination Imagination. And then we have the button. Div. And the next button. Okay. Add div. Then add the class and we name it here. So now we have exactly the same as what that what they have here okay except that one not very useful so it's fine let's save the page okay what we have to do next is to set the size of the swiper so we do the same here swiper let's make it 100 percent and for the eight here okay uh, 500 all right now we need to initialize swiper with this javascript code oh, let's copy the code and add it in a code block element okay okay it's normal with uh, oxygen we can have this kind of error what we do is to add this little code here and then okay so it should work let's try first no not this just collapse here okay we don't want a vertical slider so let's remove the direction here to keep it by default So it seems it's not working. Actually, it's working, but we have a little fix to do first. Let's check the front hand and with the dev tool. So as you know, as you may know, I guess is that all div in Oxygen Builder have this class city div block, and they only have the flex and flex direction set. But to make this swiper, this slider work, we have to change the swiper wiper 
flex direction to row. I will show you here. Okay, and now it's working. So we will fix that right here. Swapper wrapper, horizontal, and that's it. It's the only thing to do to make it work fine with oxygen. At least for that part. And now it's working as expected. So like, let's make it a bit better now. Let's fix, let's fix some uh, some little things and make it uh, look uh, a bit better. Let's change the images here. So they will cover the full slide. In the same code block, for the moment, I will add my slipper slide image. Okay. The hash 100%. 8, 100%, and object fit, cover. Okay. It doesn't always work inside oxygen. That's totally normal. It's better to always check in the front end, especially for custom code like this. Let's change the image too, so it will look a bit better. Okay. Add uh, one, two, three. And uh, that's it. Okay. Now let's check the swapper page for more options in the API page. So if I remember, it's at the beginning. Okay, right here, they have some breakpoints with a different slide per view. So let's copy their code first. Let's go to the JavaScript. Let's put that here, make it visible, okay. This is an error, okay, I forgot here. Oh, that's not too bad. So what we have to do here, by default, we have one slide. You mean this one? Oh, sorry, let's go back here. Slide per, per Per peer, I don't know to say, view, one per view, and uh, with a breakpoint we can change. So here we have four slides when the resolution, resolution is uh, higher than 640, three slides when it's higher than 480, and so on. Let's check that in the front end in mobile mode. So we have four here. Three, two, one. So very easy to control. Everything is done in JavaScript, as you can see. Okay. So to make some uh, custom effect, we will add some CSS and fix fix different things. Let's uh, let's remove that here. Okay. And instead of four, we add five. Okay, we had five slide per view. Okay, and I want the middle one to to change, like my demo here. So let's do that. Save maybe. So with the swiper, there is an active class, which means let's check. Let's check now here. Add active swiper slide active. Which one is active by default? Is the first one here in the left. So we have to add a little uh, option. I think it's a center something center red. Okay, center red slide. If true, then active slide will be centered, not always on the left side. Okay, let's add that one. 
funktioniert. Hmm. Now the centered slide, the active one will be the one in the middle. Uh, why is it important is because uh, we will do some effect here in CSS. Let's do it right now, actually. Let's add some code here. So what we can do is, for example, add uh, opacity the open two, and for the active one, let's check the code here. The IT have has this class, so we add this class, in we add, okay. So now, the one in the middle, which is the active slide, has a opacity of one, and all other slide by default have a different opacity. I think I have some code somewhere. Let's check that. Okay, so I can add a transition. And uh, maybe some effect, like for example, uh, here we got to transform scale for nine. Save it. Let's check here. Okay, that's not too bad already. Maybe you didn't notice, but there is a kind of little bug here. Sometimes the transition works, but sometimes it's like there is no transition. The thing you need to know, it's because we have set the slide with a loop, all the slides are duplicated. We can see in the code here swapper slide duplicated and the slider slide duplicated active is the same as the other one not the same but uh, i don't know how to explain but i will show you how to fix it maybe it's not very clear here i will change a little things in the css and add a, a much longer transition That's funny. Anyway, very smooth. Okay, check carefully. Okay, that one. I have no transition. Let's check here on here. So to fix that, what we have to do is to add this class. So we have swapper slide active and swapper slide duplicate active. And then let's go back to this uh, position here. Okay. Oh, did I, I save it or not? So like active and okay, save, reload. No, it seems it's still um... okay. That's normal. It's a wrong uh, class here. No, it should work fine everywhere. Okay, I will add some option too because I don't like to always click. There's option to use a mouse wheel. So let's mouse. Will I think yeah okay go back to the JavaScript add mouse wheel through 
OK. Actually, I can see it here too. OK, now I'm moving it with a mouse wheel. Pretty sweet. OK, let's add another effect with a grayscale, for example. I think it's what I did here, yes. So, the CSS, filter, grayscale, 100%. And then the hero. Go back here. That's pretty cool. Now I found out a little bug with a fi filter like this. If, for example, I put uh, an opacity of 2.5 here, save. Okay, sometimes we have this kind of bug. I think it's with Chrome and not always with, uh, and it works fine with Firefox probably. So instead of changing directly the slide, we change the content. Well, I just have an image here. If we have more content, we wipe it in a div and change it here, but what I will do is to do this here. Image, image. Then we only take care of what we have inside. And now it doesn't bug anymore. Well, totally fine. Let's put back the opacity to one. OK. That's pretty cool. We can even move it like this. But when we move it, when we drag the slider, the effect don't work. So what we have to do is to add the parallax effect. Let's add that JavaScript here. Parallax true. And you will see the difference. So this is before. I drag it, as you can see. Now I save. And when I drag it, the CSS, the CSS move in real time. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so what we can do next now, for example, oh yeah, let's check with the um, the button here. There's a default arrow from Swiper. We can remove them if we want. Let's remove them actually here and here and uh, add our own arrows. So let's add um, maybe a div. Here, okay. Icon. Well, here, okay. Duplicate that one. Change the arrow here. Okay, and this like that. Okay, and the name for each arrow, we can use the ID or a class, whatever we want. I will use the ID here and just change the code block. Okay, so for the Previous one, put the ID and I guess the other icon, it must be 22 here. Let's check and try it. And now we have our own arrow. We can position wherever we want, do some uh, cool stuff with it. Let's do a little things like this here and uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, 20 and uh, maybe let's add some fun up in uh, up 
and then check this out. Pretty cool. So that's it. It's just a very simple example. Not that hard to do. There's plenty, plenty of other options. It's a swiper. You can check their demo page here. If you want to learn how to do, because they have uh, many, many options. And uh, for example, here, the cube effect. We can do that. If you want to know how to do, you can just check their page. It will load in a sandbox. You can see their code. For example, uh, let's check it right now. And uh, what they have, they have um, effect. Cube effect. Okay, let's copy this. I'm not sure I copy it well. Let's go back in the code block, JavaScript. We have to remove this because it's for one image. Is it working? Yes, not bad. So that's it for this first introduction. If you want more tutorial about Swiper, I might do it, I'm not sure. And if you like it, so you know what to do. Thank you, and see you.